Whoa, whoa. Hello and hello, well, welcome back to uh, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening Dungeon Guide. Total Lock. By the way, there was a boss power to get into this dungeon, by the way, just let me just have a quick. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> so, first things first, what you're gonna want to do? <laughs> Magic power that dude. Cool. I prefer going this way. This is a pretty open ended dungeon, all things considered. By the way, with mirror shield, you can do that. You cannot do that with the regular shield, only the mirror one. Oh, look! <laughs> it's our old pal! This one only takes six uh, sword stabs, or three arrow shots, as opposed to eight like the other two. I don't know why he's here. Whatever, he's dead. <laughs> now, these things, these things are fun. Uh. You gotta make them fill in all of the tiles in order to get your prize. By the way, going up there is pretty much useless right now, so don't go up there. Instead, just get this thing. Yeah, 20 bucks. I don't know why you'd need that, but... <laughs> I know, probably this is equally useless. Yep. <laughs> but hey, who doesn't like more money, am I right? Also, there's a hide down there if you want that. Oh yeah, also I stocked up on hearts myself. I got like three containers off screen. Two or three. Oh, so yeah, a rolling bones is back. There we go. He's just as easy as before. It's just that he starts on the other side of the room now. I don't know why he's back. He just kind of is. Um, now, I don't fully remember what's in every room. Oh, hey, look. We got ourselves another case of an immediate dead end. Perfect. Hey, look, a key! <laughs> so let's see if I have another, like, insane fit of laughter like I have the, the past couple episodes. Crap. Don't have to kill all those dudes, it's just kind of, you know, prefer that you do. Let me zoom in a bit here, there we go. Get the heart just because. <laughs> And we've completed was essentially an arm of the dungeon. That'll make more sense when you see the map. So now just backtracking here as you can see. Now this is definitely one of the hardest dungeons in the game. Alright, if you get close to him, he just leaves. He just dodges. Anyway, step on this switch. And that unlocks these doors. I think I have to do that once in the dungeon. Anyway, I don't know if there's any other way to kill these dudes other than with a running stab. I honestly, I don't know. <laughs> there might be. I haven't found it yet. <laughs> if there is. And going down here, we have the most boring 2D segment in the dungeon. Trust me. Crap. <laughs> I try to be all cool and fancy and... Don't be going fancy, kids. <laughs> Said the kid who tried to be going fancy. <laughs> oh, 17 counts as kid, right? I don't know. Oh, hey, look, it's this dude. Remember when he beat the crap out of me a couple dungeons back? He's back for revenge. Let's see if I do any better this time. Wow, this is going swimming. This is what I tried to do last time. <laughs> Just, oh yeah, he got me once, but I annihilated him. <laughs> uh, so down here is a chest. Let's get it. As you can see, this dungeon's a bit confusing. Oh yeah, the stone beak. Optional as usual, but if I come across any statues, I will show you what they say. Because that's how I roll. Here we have a bit more interesting of a 2d segment we got some sentient fireballs here now i never really finished what i was talking about with um found this by the way with um breath of the wild i talked about vomido vabuda and that was it really babudania was fun and vanaboris was the most challenging for me in terms of puzzle solving in terms of like, the boss fight, yeah, that goes to Waterblight Ganon. And getting 
into the dungeon. By the way, I got the map. It's a giant turtle anyway. <laughs> in terms of the getting in the dungeon and beating the boss, what the uh, Vavood was the hardest for me. I'm just saying all this while I have some downtime here because it's <laughs> not exactly any puzzle solving going on here. Just basic platforming. <laughs> <laughs> Jump. Okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Babudani was just kind of like an average one. It was the last one I did, so I was like way too powerful for it. <laughs> and so it was kind of easy for me. But yeah. I also completed Hyo Castle recently. Now, you see this? It's important. Now, here's how to solve this one. This one's actually pretty tricky. Yeah, see, I, I messed it up. But this, yeah. Make sure that's orange. It's really important that that's orange. And in here, you know what? You can't go in there, by the way. You need an item. I just want to show that off. There we go. Now I'll head up here. We're back here, as you can see. But we're not quite done with this area yet. We still gotta go back and successfully solve the puzzle I just kind of skipped over. Like I said, you gotta fill in all the tiles. You do this, I think, three times in the dungeon. So just follow what I'm doing here, but, you know, if I fail like that, just do it successfully instead. <laughs> it's a little tricky. You gotta do this, like, weird zigzagonal... <laughs> Thing. And yeah, it's, it's for a key. And yeah, you need the key. Oh yeah, it's also these two guys. How's the camera looking? The camera's looking good. So we're nearly done with the beginning of the dungeon. As you can see, we've cleared out the two sort of like arms, the front legs, the front half of the dungeon. But trust me, this dungeon's long. <laughs> anyway, go up there, push that block. You do not need to fill in all the squares here, by the way. That's literally impossible. <laughs> so don't don't worry about that. Let me just kill these guys real quick. I'll show more of that later. Yeah, can't even do much here. So just ignore it. Kill those dudes if you want. I don't care. <laughs> Yahoo! Style points. I just need to real quick to check. What was up here again? Need the hook shot for this. This is one of the dungeons where I don't remember immediately where every staircase goes. <laughs> Uh, this is just like a recharge area. Alright, you can ignore this. Well, can I ignore this? You know what? I'll grab some of this stuff. Why not? That's just like a little recharge room. If you care. Also, you might have noticed a different recording background. That's because I didn't feel like using the living room. <laughs> that's it. That's the only reason. <laughs> Moving on from that. <laughs> Go up here. Kill all of the enemies. Stone big, what do you guys say? To defeat the monster, hold the key, attack them from a higher place. That's important. And this area? Yeah, I can't do crap there. I just want to show it off. Also, if you destroy these blocks, it shows an arrow. So, yeah, kind of obvious. These guys, you gotta kill them all. <laughs> Okay, I'm doing a bad job of this, so, uh... 
I see. Okay. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I never said I was good. <laughs> I've completely destroyed this entire area. But you know what's going I'm going to get the hearts. I'm pretty sure if you use magic powder on them, they just turn to a skeleton. <laughs> oh yeah, it's these guys. You can't kill them yet. <laughs> now, I'm not just thinking, what the hell, why not? You'll find out later. Also, I want to show someone off. That's medicine again. Okay, moving on. That's just like your third chance being medicine. That's all that is. I used a ton of arrows in that last room. That clears that out. And you have no reason to not just grab this real quick. So... Grab it. Again, no reason not to. Now this leads you outside the dungeon. Ooh. Can't get that? I can, sweet. And I believe this is gonna give me another hog container. Yeah, I timed it perfectly. Because I'm a pro gamer. And just for the heck of it, I'll activate that, why not? <laughs> Mirror Shield can also do that, which is nice. <laughs> and here we have what is quite possibly the most annoying thing in the game. It's these guys. But with a twist! You have to kill them from up here. That's it. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's annoying. It suggested you have like a bajillion bombs for this. <laughs> It's also slow. <laughs> That's one. There should be two right here. No! Got another head. Yeah, this is gonna be a solid couple minutes right here, just this section. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All that was for a key, by the way. So, you have to do that. That's not for something optional, like... 50 bucks, or even the stone beak. No, that's, that's a key. And now you're back here. I forgot to jump. Oopsie. Anyway, we're back, back here. Uh, I don't know, do I need arrows? I can't remember. Speaking of arrows... Shoot this dude. Here we have a good old fashioned chest. And I'm pushing you have to reset the blocks by leaving. So get the key. Head up here, reset the blocks. This is yeah, remember that room? The very first tire pushing room? And I said don't go up. This is the up. You need an item that you get from the dungeon itself in order to progress there. That's why I said to just ignore it. <laughs> Plus, I showed it off there, so, you know. <laughs> and hey, look. Recharge room. Remember this from before? You should. <laughs> My shoulders are starting to hurt a little bit. Actually, no, it's more my neck. It's my neck that's on hurt. Can I push this? I can't. Sweet. Alright, now I'm gonna do something 
important. By leaving the dungeon earlier, this made this blue again. Make it orange. <laughs> I cannot stress how important it is that that is orange. I just realized there was an owl statue there. Also, the owl statue hint that I showed off earlier was like what it said, oh, kill them from above or whatever. It was referring to those Dodongo snakes. That's their name, by the way, Dodongo snake. I believe I've forgotten where to go. Not there. <laughs> I've no longer forgotten where to go because that eliminated like the only possibility that I was thinking of. <laughs> Like I said, this is a bit more of a complex dungeon, and remembering everything is kind of hard. <laughs> so go back up here. We're doing a bit of backtracking here, as you can see. And we're back here, and yeah, this is where it's supposed to go. So, this block here, open it, go in, well look, it's another block, we'll do that in a second. Now, I want to real quickly, actually you know what, I'm not going to do it, I don't care. There's a bumble wall there and there, they're completely unnecessary, they just act as like little crappy miniature shortcuts. <laughs> They're unnecessary, so I don't feel like showing them off. That's all. Just want to mention that real quick. And that's why I wanted that thing to be like that. <laughs> now, we're almost done with the dungeon. First, gotta beat the crap out of this dude. His name's Blaino. Why is he a boxer? I have no idea. There we go. <laughs> Eight hits. Dodges, punches, stab him. Also, if he lands you with an uppercut, I think he's sent to the beginning of the dungeon. <laughs> so don't get hit by his uppercut. That's my advice. Now, what I like to do from here on out is sing my way back to the entrance. We're finally gonna head to that room that I told you to ignore. <laughs> because it's actually important for once. <laughs> Don't have to fill in all the stuff a second time, fortunately. And in here. So we got the magic rod. This is literally just a shoot fire <laughs> and there you go <laughs> light the two torches and what's in here wow it's a key <laughs> oh, got some hair in my mouth <laughs> now I'm doing it's time for it that's fight more progress <laughs> I almost messed up that jump by not jumping. Fortunately, I'm not that dumb. <laughs> now, you see the staircase here? That we basically completely ignored. Yeah, stop ignoring it. <laughs> now, why is there giant blocks of ice <laughs> in a fire dungeon on top of a volcano? <laughs> Crap, messed that up. <laughs> All right, jump, shoot the fire, yeah. Now, I'm gonna equip the bow for this, and you're gonna see why in a second. It's this guy, he's back. <laughs> seems cute wall, by the way. He has the same health as before. He's just in a lava room, because naturally the fire, the lava, the, the, I can't talk. The water mini boss shows up again in the fire dungeon. Obviously. 
Why wouldn't the water mini boss show up in the fire dungeon? <laughs> this game doesn't do much elemental theming. There's like two water dungeons and a fire dungeon. <laughs> if you want to count catfish as well, it's a fire dungeon. It's a like water dungeon. And we got the last one of these block pushes. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the last. I think that's the last mini boss. This final dungeon uses like literally every single mini boss except for like Goma and Master Stathos, you know, Papyrus. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Anyway. <laughs> Time to backtrack a little bit. Just a little bit. I'll go ahead and feed these guys real quick. Why not? I don't know why there's so many Goombas in this game. It's the Fountain Dungeon. There's still Goombas. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fall in that tiny square of lava. It's a trick. <laughs> this is easily going to be the longest one. Even longer than the, the Windfish's Egg. Because that's kind of a dungeon, but also kind of not a dungeon. Why did I do that in a super convoluted way? Because I momentarily forgot that it was right here. <laughs> so I briefly entered this earlier. There's a way too much ice in this one. <laughs> Let me just real quickly shoot him real quick. So destroy the ice the same way I am. What you're gonna wanna do is... What you're gonna wanna do... Is snipe that... What you're gonna wanna do... <laughs> snipe the... <laughs> What you gonna wanna do? Snipe that ice. <laughs> and then, what you gonna wanna do after that? Is that. This one's a bit easier. Ice. Ice. Baby. And if you want, I don't know. Destroy that. Why not? It doesn't do anything, but if you wanna do it, do it. And we're basically done. Let's say, hey, look. It's the boss key room. What? What's your voice gonna be? You're finished. I would never let you play the instruments of the sirens. I gotta come with these voices on the spot. Sirens are not the best. This is Hothead. So, how do you beat the fire boss? By shooting fire at him. Shooting with fire. I guess it's technically magic. But the magic sets stuff on fire, so like I'll let you decide. Anyway, five shots with the fire rod. I actually just called it the fire rod. Three shots after that, and he's dead. Yeah, it's pretty easy for a final dude. Why did you come here? If it weren't for you, nothing would have to change. You cannot wake the wind fish. Remember, you two are in the dream. And he's like super mega dead now. Yahoo! <laughs> Is that whole container in the lava? Okay, never mind. It's like just outside the lava. Right, I'm gonna get that real quick. So yeah, that was that was the dungeon. 24 minutes. As you can tell from the length of this video, as one of my longest videos ever, it's kind of long. Anyway, we got the thunder drum. Yahoo! That's all the instruments. Now we got a nice ensemble. <laughs> Why does this sound so retro? <laughs> All the other ones got like full remixes of that, so just a do 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 What's our last thing? Egg. Like and subscribe. <laughs> the egg on the mountain calls. So yeah, that's just you. That's just the game story telling you, hey, head to the giant ass egg on the map. So <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, you can leave a like or subscribe if you like it, oh crap. Or you can leave a comment down below if you have anything to say about it. You can also, you can also follow me on Instagram at wellx5. Uh, and until next time, I'll see you later, buddy. Oh, bye-bye. Well.